Hey guys, the reason I have you in my truck right now, well actually I can't tell you that yet. Some of you might know by now that uh, the Honda is sold. I sold it last Saturday. I listed it Friday night and I probably had 25 people that were interested in it. Um, and I basically just picked the first person that seemed uh, to be the most serious. And I didn't want to hassle with anybody or try to haggle a price down and said, listen, this is what I want for it. Come down, I'll tell you all the details. Um, if you don't want it, then move on. So, listed it on Facebook Marketplace. Had 25 people that wanted it. One guy said that uh, he was really interested in it. He would come down and pretty much give me what I wanted for it. Actually, it was exactly what I wanted for it. Um, so I was going to take that money and I was going to go buy a, a T56 transmission for the for the Trans Am. And of course today I'm at work and scrolling through Facebook Marketplace again and bam, something pops up. Something too good to pass up. So uh, I'm on my way to go pick it up and I guess you're going to see what that is uh, in a few minutes here. So I also just wanted to mention guys that uh, this is an hour and 45 minute drive. I just got out of work an hour ago. Hour and 45 minute drive just to go pick this thing up. Um, damn, I really want to tell you what it is, but I can't tell you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that a surprise. So you just have to hang tight and, uh, and see what this thing is. Here it is, guys. 2001 Camaro SS. This is the Honda's replacement. Uh, I did not get rid of the Trans Am that is still in storage right now, and I'm going to keep that car. Uh, so here's the, the rundown on this car. Uh, I sold the, the 97 Honda that you guys have checked back in my previous videos um, last weekend, two weekends ago. Um, I kind of thrown the idea around of selling it for a little while and uh, decided to list it on the Facebook marketplace. And I had like 20 people interested in the car within like 10 hours. So I sold it the next day, got what I wanted for it. Uh, the original plan was to go out and buy a T56 for the 88 GTA and searching through the Facebook marketplace, like I mentioned a few minutes ago. And this car pops up on there and I'm like, oh, well, there's my parts car. It's a 2001 Camaro SS and it's really cheap. I figured the car probably had some floor rot or some other major mechanical issues. I started searching through the post a little more and noticed that the car looked really straight, really solid, clean, paint looked decent on it. Uh, so I messaged a guy and I'm like, oh, this car's gotta be long gone by now. Everybody's got tax returns back and they're, they're buying everything up in, in seconds. Uh, the guy had posted the car 20 minutes beforehand and uh, I messaged him and he said that the uh, car was still for sale. It was uh, located about two hours away from me. I was still at work. So I was like, you know, I'm, I'm a serious buyer. I got cash in hand. I'll, I'll come right out right now and buy the car uh, as soon as I get out of work. And, and he, he was like, you know, give me give me your phone number and we'll talk things over. So I called him right away. He said the car was there. I told him I was coming down. He said, sure, we agreed on a price. Um, and I, I drove my truck out there two hours out to get it. And I had AAA tow it back. So it's a 2001 SS. It's a six-speed car. It's got black leather, T-tops. Uh, it's a, the 5.7 LS1 engine. It has a, a Mosier rear end with a Ford nine inch, and it has um, Detroit locker and 410 gears. Uh, the the tranny, I guess it has a, uh, an LS7 replacement clutch in it. And the motor is completely stock, other than uh, I think he said he did knock sensors on it. It does have an exhaust on it. It's got a full master muffler and some, some fabbed up mid pipe the interior is not in mint shape but man it is in nice shape the car's got 109,000 miles on it what am i going to do with this car my, my original plan was okay i can i can part this out it has everything on it that i want for my gta i can take everything off of it and i can sell the shell afterward and then i can just sell off the rest of the engine afterward um, so that was the original plan of going out there when i initially saw this car Drove out there and actually looked at the car and immediately I was like, no, there's no way. I, I could not cut this car up and part it out. I, I would, you know, I have an attachment to cars like that. I couldn't do it. So got the car home next morning, came out, looked at it a little more and I'm like, man, I need to keep this car. This is something, this is something I want to play with. This is going to be my next toy. So uh, Honda's gone. I'm going to be pretty busy this summer for future plans. Um, some stuff going on with the house that we plan on taking care of. And 
uh, this could be my summer toy. I can just play with this car. It's not much that it needs other than some cosmetics. I do have to repaint the front bumper on it a little bit because it's got a, a crack in the corner and the paint's a little chipped, but the rest of the paint is in awesome shape on it. I do want to get rid of these rims. Um, it has a, a Z06 replica rim on it, and all four of them had Plasti Dip on it when I, when I bought it. And I started stripping it off that rear one right there. And the chrome is okay underneath them, but I'm still not a fan. I'm not, I'm not a chrome guy. They look all right. But I think I'm going to sell these, and I want to put the original 10-spoke SS wheels back on here again. And just try to keep the car original looking on the outside. And, um, jeez, I like to get the car outside. It's actually nighttime out right now, but it's probably 10 degrees outside right now. So the, the car is, I, I took it out yesterday for a little while, but... Today it's going to be inside tonight and tomorrow it's not going anywhere either because it's salt all over the road. So, so there you have it. Um, future plans for this in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be putting wheels on it. Uh, I do have to redo the headlights on it. I'm going to do a, a quick little video on that. They're, they're pretty foggy. Uh, I did just get some replacement orange corner markers for it again because it's got some eBay clears that, that have just gone to crap. So I'll be redoing the headlights on it. I just get, I got the uh, the replacement markers already, and I'm gonna strip the plastic dip off the wheels, which I'm probably gonna add that into the marker video. And I'm gonna try to sell these rims off and get the original ones. And basically from there, I'm just gonna clean the car. I wanna I wanna do a full detail on it and get it all polished and waxed up. And then um, I like to do the the rear diff fluid on it. Just go through all the mechanicals and stuff to make sure everything is sound on it, and and get it ready for the summer basically. So one more thing I want to mention, I know my, my subscriber base is still really small right now, but I, I did get really excited. I went out and I purchased some stickers and some t-shirts and I don't have a lot of it, but I do have some, some trial pieces left over and I'm going to be making more of these. So, uh, so if you are watching my videos and you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you're interested in any stickers and you are one of my subscribers, I will put my email address in the information below. And you can either comment here or send me an email and your address and I will send you a sticker free. So stay tuned next week for some more videos. I got all kinds of projects I'm going to be setting up on this thing. And uh, I'll have this posted probably next Friday or next Saturday and I'm going to try to do these weekly. Uh, if you have any input for me, please put them in the comments below. I always appreciate that. And if you did like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up. Thanks.